Hold the line! Hello everyone, Blazarge here. Now, recently I did a sneak peek video showing off the new weapons and gear that are coming out for the Space Marines as well as the Imperial Guardsmen. And when I did that video, I promised once the update has been fully released to the public for everybody to use, I was going to make a mock battle showing off the gear and weapons in all their glory. Well, the update came out. Now it's time to show it off. All right. So for this battle, we're going to be having the guard, the Imperial Man here hold the line against the enemies of man, the demons, the chaos space marines that are going to be coming right at us. And it's going to be fun. Now, you might be wondering what kind of weather effect I'm using. I'm not using any weather effect at all. This is actually part of the update for the Ruined City map. Uh, the name is right there. Um, I can't ever pronounce it. That's why I just say that name right there. Anyways, um, this is actually early morning with a little bit of overcast. And it really does look like the grim, dark 40K universe. It's, oh, I love it. The developers have gone overboard on this. And also the map has a major overhaul. Um, in a future video, when I show off, show off um, other Armor 3 custom battle videos using any of the Warhammer 40k factions, you'll see a lot more of it. You can't see a lot of it now, but trust me, it looks really good. Um, but we're going to be using this portion right here, so the enemy is going to have to come down straight at us. Now, for the enemy, I am using uh, the uh, zombie demon mod. Uh, most of these right here are just the fast attack zombies. But I think five or so squads in the back, they are the actual demons. And those of you who do not know, the demons in that mod can not only jump as high as like three stories, uh, but they also can throw a car two blocks down the street or even destroy a tank with its bare hands. Yeah very scary and they're also ridiculously hard to kill i think they're almost as tough as a uh, space marine in this 40k mod so very tough to kill then over here we do have three squads of the chaos space marines they are of the nurgle chapter uh which are of decay and undead just plague oh Anything you can think it's disgusting and gross, that's these guys. And I thought it really fit with the whole having the zombies and demons. So that's why I'm using these guys. And Plus, with that whole idea and this kind of creepy environment, it fits. So, like I said, these guys are going to be coming straight at us head on to try to kill us all. Over here for the Imperium of Man, most of the guardsmen are carrying the Type 3 Auto cannon, the new gun that just came out, and I edited all of their inventory, giving them 13 clips of ammunition. That way, halfway through the fight, they do not run out. Because the last thing we need them to do is actually run out of ammunition halfway through the fight. And then we have a couple of the veterans uh, right here. You know them by having their goggles. These guys will be carrying las guns. So that way, when the fight happens, you see a couple las gun shots as well as these shots going out. So it mixes it up. It looks really cool. And each one of these bunker areas right here, they have auto cannons, um, the heavy bolter emplacements. So they'll be laying down some firepower down on those space marines out there. Oh, it's going to be awesome. And then back here for support, we have two sentinels. Um, with the multi-laser as well as an APC ready to give some support to our boys in the front. And then over here we have two APCs. They're going to be bringing their way over here at their own pace. And then lining up here and then firing over the river helping with this defensive line. Now I am bringing a couple of space marines. Uh, first up we have two space marines. One here and one over there. They are carrying the plasma gun. And as you can see the effect has been fixed. There's no constant... Uh, flare coming out the front. Thank you, Panzer, for fixing that. And whoever else helped, thank you. Now, back here, we do have uh, two heavy bolters right here. They are also going to run up with the plasma gunners to line up up here and to hold the line against anything that tries to come across that bridge. And to be fair, between the two heavy bolters and two plasma guns, they can hold out a long time. Then over here, we have two regular tactical marines carrying the standard bolt gun. And then myself, with more of the veteran look, carrying the white helmet and the white gun. Um, I'm going to be running up with them or wherever else I needed. 
um, just trying to hold the enemies of man at bay. So this is not a Armor 3 custom battles video. Like I said, this is just to show off what these guns look like in a battle. Um, if I win or lose, it does not matter. Hopefully I will survive for a little bit of time so you can see it all in action. But like I said, I don't, it's not, doesn't really matter who wins or who loses. This is just to show it off. So I'm going to put a cut right here. I'll be right back once we're in the combat zone. So don't go anywhere, folks. I'll be right back. Stand All right, here we go, everybody. The Marines are heading out, as well as two squads of Scars. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do it. I'm going to stand back here and just observe you want. Here they come. Looks like the tanks are on the way. All right, guardsmen, open fire. Let's do this. There go the tactical marines. Gonna help. Oh, you just got wasted. Friendly fire much? Hold the line! Reloading. Uh, heavy bolter that way. Damn it. Cover me. We are the Imperial Guard. It is time we started acting like it.
Well, we're holding. Those tanks are really laying down the pain. Demons! Did we win? So, I would have to say that was a good look at the new update, the weapons, and actually a combat form. Again, I'm sorry I did not put this at the end of my sneak peek video. Um, I, one, I was really short on time at the time. And plus, I wanted to make sure all the bugs were completely fixed before I tried to use them in a real uh, mock battle like this. But I have to say, this battle really did show them out really well. Of course, the AI will be goofy sometimes and when the enemy's coming at them they look the other way but all, all in all i think this was a really good test showing these weapons off so if you guys have any comments suggestions or feedback about this episode or anything you guys would like to say to the devs let us know in the comment section down below and if you guys have any uh ideas for a future uh r3 custom battles video and you guys would like to see it let me know in the comment section down below and i'll do my best to make it happen Till next time, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care, guys, and remember, have an awesome day.